If you guys are sick of wasting money on packs, go check out my sponsor. They offer the cheapest and most reliable way to buy coins straight from the source. Use code MAZE at checkout for 15% off your entire order. What's going on, boys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are continuing our Panthers CFM. The main opponent we take on in this video is a division rival in the Falcons. We actually just played them a few weeks ago and won, but my entire division is really close. So this game is very important in determining how we head into playoffs. And one last thing before we get into the video, if you guys want to see a gameplay between myself and MMG. I was just recently a guest on his series, Taking Down the House. We had some good fun recording the video. It turned out really well. Here is a clip if you guys are interested. What's good, boys? Welcome to episode eight of Taking Down the House on the game day. Today's matchup is going to be insane. I'm so excited. Chiefs versus Bengals. I'm about to take on Maze, and Maze is a stud. I love Maze. I know he's really good at Madden. Oh no, I see it. Oh my God, Joe. Come on, oh! baby. Man. Hey, it's a true gambler right there. Gotcha, Get there! Oh, I will, oh, go for two. Go no, for two, Tyrell. No, no. I'm covering that spread. No, Joe Shiesty can't shiesty catch me. Day. How shiesty is he? This is where he, this is where he How shiesty is he? Let's go, Tyrell! <laughs> this is going to be sick. Let's pull Maze in here and let's hop in this game. So a big thank you to MMG and the game day for having me on. If you guys want to watch the full video, I highly recommend it. It will be pinned in the comments down below. So our eight and three Panthers are going to be playing the four, six and one Miami Dolphins. And I don't know if I just have the easiest schedule in the league, but every team I play seems to have a losing record. The Dolphins are no different. Taking a look at the actual roster, Robert Griffin III is the quarterback, which isn't ideal. I don't think he gets many abilities. Naheem Hines at running back. The receivers don't have a ton of speed. And then if you look at the tight end, this is the one bright spot on the team. It's George Kittle at 98 overall and 88 speed. The corners additionally don't have very much speed with 92, 92, 88. The safety has 90 speed and the strong safety has 90 speed as well. So not a lot of speed on this team. Not a lot of abilities either. Route apprentice and short in on George Kittle. Only conductor and quick draw on Robert Griffin. And then a couple of O-line abilities. The last superstar is Traymon Smith, who's a strong safety and has no abilities on him. So abilities aren't super great on this team either, especially considering Robert Griffin III doesn't really have set feet lead, pass lead elite, or gunslinger. Makes it really difficult to pass. We're rocking the all-white uniforms for this game. We are going to be away. Starting on the defensive side of the ball, he jurtles into a hit stick, fumbles early, and that set the tone for the entire game. We're starting out on top with an advantage, and then we followed up on our first offensive play, a seam streak to Albert O. But what's new, man? I feel like we score on that play more than any other. And we're starting off the game with a touchdown. 6-0. to Now for the two-point play. Nothing is open. We fire a blind read, and he gets cheated out of a pick. So we're starting up 8-0. to Already some crazy stuff happening this game. But it's going in our favor, so I'm not going to be complaining. His next drive, he starts with a run. Then a little pass to George Kill gets a first down. And I can tell he's starting to feel himself a bit. Starting to settle in. Next set of downs, we get him in a third and 10. And he dots us over the middle. My safety's unable to come up and make a play. And he gets another first down now in our territory at the 41-yard line. Second and 10, he throws it away in the face of pressure. We get intentional grounding and force a fourth and 15, where it looked like everything was going to be bagged, but another laser from my opponent converts that fourth down and keeps the drive alive. Another third and long, and he's just barely keeping this drive alive, piecing together first downs in third and fourth down scenarios. So we got to get better getting off the field because... Hey. What results is a touchdown. Now the game is supposed to be within one point, but he misses the extra point somehow. And now the pressure's on our offense to go regain the lead we had. First and 10, Big Ben gets a play action, but not finding much open takes a big sack. Now we're behind the six in a second and 17. We've got to get some positive yardage on this play so we're not in a third and very long. We see the corner route. We get right behind the sticks, and now it's going to be a third and inches. We go back to this play that we scored early on. Looks like Alberto has a step, so we fire it. But unfortunately, that was just my Helen Keller tendencies coming out to play. So we give him the ball back. Thankfully, we still have a two-point lead, but it's his ball now. We don't really have that advantage from the early fumble. So if he scores on this drive, he's obviously going to take the lead, but he throws a book. Greg Newsom comes up, gets the interception, gets a nice return, and it kind of erases our interception, and we're back to square one. So we still got the two-point lead. We're late in the first quarter, and now hopefully we won't make the same mistake again. First and 10, we fire it to the sideline. McMath is streaking past the cornerback, and we are in the end zone looking to take a two-point lead right now. The two-point conversion is good. 16-6 to scoreboard now. We got the 10-point lead, and now we can focus on playing defense because one to two stops, and I think this game will be over. My opponent with a really nice pass. The sideline gets to midfield. Now a second and eight. RG3, another nice pass. Kittle making a couple guys miss, getting a big gain. 
Inside field goal range now with five minutes in the first half. RG3 dropping back again. This time fires a deep one, and his man is there into the end zone for another touchdown, cutting our lead down. Now for the two-point conversion. We got a lot of pressure on RG3's face. He throws up a prayer, and George Kittle catches the ball through my defender. I don't really know what happened right there, but that's typical Madden 22. I guess George Kittle's a little bit taller. Maybe he has a bigger dick. Who knows? But it doesn't take us long to answer because on the kickoff, our man Raymond hits the sideline, and there is not a man in sight. He's high-stepping all the way out, running everybody, even number 10's bitch ass. And we're in the end zone for the answer. I got to say, that was probably the easiest kick return I've ever had. I didn't even make one cut or one move. I just ran to the sideline, and there was no one there. So 10-point lead restored, four minutes left in the first half. And is that RG3 or Riley Reed? Because he just took a big sack. <laughs> now a fourth and 16. He fires up another prayer. Two men on the ball. And once again, his prayers what? are answered. Off the swat, he makes the catch on fourth and 16. So not only should we have gotten an interception, all we really needed was the incomplete pass. But once again, it's going to be a first down. Thankfully, defense holds up. We get him in another fourth down. But once again, he converts this time for a touchdown. So I feel like so far some stuff has really not gone our way. We're up by four, but I feel like we've really been dominating this entire game. So as the game goes on, I'm keeping my morale high, not trying to get down because as long as we score here, we are going to be getting the ball in the second half and going into halftime up two possessions is almost a surefire win. Another seam streak to Albert O, now inside the five yard line where we throw the low ball in route and get another touchdown. Now we're up 11. 45 seconds on the clock, and we are screaming off the edge. Devin Bush gets the tipped interception, jurdles twice, and gets tackled at the six-yard line. I think only one jurdle there. He's in the end zone, but no problem. Big Ben's going to get the job done. We score another touchdown. So going into the second half, we're getting the ball back. We're up 18, which is three possessions. This game is essentially over as long as we don't do anything stupid. Huge conversion right there to Campbell. It's a big first down. Now at the 21-yard line, a high pass to Albert O. And how does his nutsack taste? An amazing catch down to the one-yard line. Saquon Barkley finishes the job. And now we are up 26 points, which in the third quarter, late in the third quarter, despite having big plays, no matter what you're going to do, you're not going to come back. So I'm just going to be showing you guys the final few highlights. He's got, he got a touchdown there. We got another touchdown there to Saquon. And with 54 27 score. Our man Devin Bush gets another turnover, a strip sack right there on fourth down. And uh, that's going to pretty much do it for the game. One last touchdown for good measure. Saquon into the end zone. And we finish 62 to 34 victory, 412 yards and five touchdowns for Big Ben. 91% completion percentage. I believe this is a perfect QBR. And this is definitely his best game he's had all year. After the game, we get an upgrade for Racy McMath, our wide receiver who caught a couple big plays. He gets deep threat upgraded, plus one awareness, plus two catching, plus one deep route running, and plus one release. With that said, let's get into our next game. This is going to be the first rematch we've had all year. We played the Falcons earlier in the year. We won before he was number one in our division. Now he's number three. But if you look at our NFC South standings, 9-3, 9-4, 7-5, 7-5. So despite us being in first, we don't have a big margin of error to work with. So we got to win this game or else we're probably going to be in second in our division. So we got Josh Allen. That's right. His team. I remember his team was really, really good. Josh Allen at quarterback, which is one of the best in the game. Nick Chubb at running back. 96 speed at wide receiver. Michael Thomas was a little slower, but he has abilities. Darren Waller at tight end. Yeah, this was like the most juice team we played. I remember this guy's team was insane. The only weak point is uh, his corners are a little slower than ours. Other than that, though, his team... Across the board is better than ours. He also had a crazy amount of abilities. Evasive and running back apprentice on Nick Chubb. Route apprentice and short in the lead on Darren Waller. Acrobat one step ahead on Jason McCourty. Gunslinger quick draw escape artist pass the lead elite and dashing dead eye on Josh Allen. Acrobat in mid zone on Richard Sherman. Wide receiver apprentice short in on Michael Thomas. Short in and grab and go on Aaron Jones. Focus kicker on Justin Tucker. This guy's team is ridiculous. We handled ourselves okay last time, but his team is crazy. We got home field advantage this time. I'm excited to see what it has in store for us. Yeah, last time uh, he didn't run the ball a ton last time, but he went down early. So I'm thinking if we if he starts running the ball from the start this time, he might have a better shot. We're going to shut down Chubb, bro. We're going to shut down the Chubb and not let him get fully erect. I kind of want to move my linebackers back because I'm afraid Darren Waller is going <laughs> to... Let's go, man. Doesn't matter. He might have the first if he runs it here. 
Nah, nah, Never dude. mind. That's what we wanted the whole time. I was literally joking. Great way to start the game. I also remember the last time we played. Alberto had like 300 yards. I think that's where Alberto for 300 started. But it looks like he knows my play calls now. You're so good, Ben. Oh my God. Can you believe Ben Roethlisberger just made that play? Oh, Saquon. Oh my God. I regret taking him. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Not today, bucko. Not today, bucko. Uh-oh. Bro, every time I get caught on something, I'm afraid he's gonna dot me. I thought he was gonna be on an in route. I thought he was gonna have an in route from the other guy, but he didn't. Fourth and 34. This game is getting off to a fantastic start. Damn, bro. Alberto, come on, buddy. Come on, Albert. Come on, Albert. Let's go, baby. Get in there, Paris. Get in there, Paris. Come on. We're lucky. We're lucky. Oh, no. Oh, no. I thought he was going to throw that crosser. That crosser, if he waited a second longer, might have been a touchdown. So I'm very glad he threw the drag. All right, now he's kind of driving a little bit. God damn, man. No. No. No! The one time I don't get on my user is the one time he bombs me down the middle, dude. That is unfortunate. Get up, Savage. You take that for two. We need two here, Savage. Come on, buddy. Damn it. Go, go, Alberto. Alberto for 300. Part of me wants to chew down this clock. Part of me just wants to score. I kind of just want to score. I'm not going to play the clock. I ain't going to play clock. Actually, maybe I am. I changed my mind. I am. Nice. Great job, Saquon. That's why we took you, baby. Here we go. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Alberto, get in there, baby. Journal! Alberto for 500. How about that? Laser! He's only got a minute left, and I honestly think he gets too aggressive because he's down. He doesn't want to go to half down because I'm getting the ball. So I think we get a stop here. I think we get at least three points because he's going to try to force something. We're going to be sending the heat. Look at that shit. Look at Josh Allen. How's that fair? Big Ben doesn't do that. Yeah, see, we're screaming. Bro, he's breaking every single tackle. It's literally not fair. It's literally like hacking. It's basically hacking. Instead of two sacks, we end up giving up 40 yards. So... He almost broke through again. I mean, Jesus. No. Oh, goodness. It's a bad throw, Ben. Maybe could have had a touchdown there. Instead, Ben just wants to sell. Money. Alberto. Yo, Alberto for 700. Just give the ball to Alberto. Oh, my goodness. I thought I was going to get there. Oh, my God. He literally used my own play against me. And Patrick Peterson can't outrun Darren Waller. That's just awesome. No way, dude. How does he bag a corner? All right. All right. All right. All right. Bro, are we getting weak boxed? What is going on? Ah! <laughs> That's how we bounce back. 
that's how we fight back. I'm okay with giving up pretty much anything underneath because we're up two possessions. So as long as I don't give up a quick score, I think we're gonna be sitting pretty here. Let's see, if we could take it to the fourth. If we could take it to the fourth, still up two possessions. That'd be nice. Yo, that match really screwed up. Thank God it was a bad throw. All right, big third down right here. <laughs> we were there, dude. This is it. This is for the game. He's passing. He's passing. We were, we were there, dude. We are literally there, man. I am running with that route two yards in front of it. Just <laughs> love it. I don't know how I could how I could bag that route harder. I really don't know. On fourth down, you can't bag a route better than I bag that one. There's no shot that should have been caught. All right, fourth quarter, man. Hey, I said if we could get to the fourth quarter, still up two possessions, I'll count that as a W. Oh. And here we are in the fourth quarter. Oh, baby, big hit. Where are we, boys? Where are we? Bro, Nick Chubb is unstoppable. Hold the door. Hold the door. Hold the damn, damn it. Hold the damn door. That's fine, bro. We took off a lot of clock. That's all I asked for. Why can't I adjust my line? Let's go, man. Hold the door, baby. That's a nine-point lead. I think that's GG's, honestly. Let's go, Alberto. He always comes through for me, man. <laughs> there we go, Saquon. Pretty good day for Ben. Defense didn't play very well, but... With Josh Allen, I think that's expected. All right, here we go. Big Ben, one step close to Hot Route Master. We're going to upgrade Field General. We're almost there. Play action, throw deep, throw short, and awareness. All right, Darnell Savage, run support. We are getting awareness, play rec, press, and tackle. Final one, Paris Campbell. We're going deep threat, baby. Come on, Paris. What we getting, man? Deep route, release, and spec catch. Two, two, and three. Okay. All right, we're 10 and three, man. We're top of the division. And it feels so good.